Failure is not to be feared, but prepared for. It's really important to make sure that you understand that setbacks happen. People fail all the time. If you think about it, it's not that big of a deal. It may seem like a crushing setback. It might even appear like some sort of humiliation. But in the big scheme of things, failure is part of the human condition because it happens all the time. Believe that setbacks happen. Instead of fearing it or wishing it away or constantly asking yourself, why me? Expect it and prepare for it. According to Thomas Stanley's book, The Millionaire Next Door, the average American millionaire has gone bankrupt at least three and a half times. Let that sink in for a second. You know how crushing bankruptcy is. You know how humiliating it is at a personal level. Sure, a lot of the stigma has worn off bankruptcy, but it's still a severe personal setback. Still, it didn't hold these millionaires back. They peaked, they crashed, then they rose back up. Stop fearing failure. Instead, focus on what comes next. Failure does not have to be the final point of your journey. It does not have to end there. Please don't get the idea in your head that if you're expecting failure, you want it to happen or you're wishing for it. No, these are two totally different things. When you expect failure, you understand that the probability of failure is always there. By expecting that the worst can happen, you then allow yourself to respond in such a way that you can bounce back up. Measure your success the right way. Oftentimes, we think that we fail. Oftentimes, we think that we just crashed and burned. But what happened actually was that we measured our success the wrong way. For example, if you are starting a business and you know that normally the return on capital in your industry happens after five years, it would be ridiculous of you to assume that you will get all your money back after one year. You're just going to be beating yourself up needlessly if you did that. Measure your success the right way. It may well turn out that you did not fail. You're just waiting. Fail quickly. In addition to measuring your success the right way, another way to prepare for failure is to resolve to fail quickly. I know this sounds kind of crazy, but a lot of successful people do this. They know that achieving success involves a lot of trial and error, so they experiment a lot. It's like throwing spaghetti on the wall. Eventually, one piece sticks. But before that happens, you have to be as quick as possible in throwing spaghetti at the wall and getting that pasta to bounce off. When you do this, you're figuring out a map to get success, and you're doing it quickly and cheaply. The secret to this, of course, is to fail quickly and cheaply. It must not leave any scars. It must not bankrupt you. Learn to let go emotionally. Do not let your setbacks define you. This is the number one reason why a lot of people fail. You see, just because your business venture did not produce the intended result, it doesn't mean that you have to stop. It may mean that you have to experiment or do certain things. If you can't get through the front door, try the back, try the roof, try the basement, try the side. If you can't get in today, try tomorrow, then the week after that, then the week after that. You get the point. But if you somehow think that this is the end of the world and this means that you are just a loser, you have allowed this setback to define you. It burns emotionally. It's very hard to move on. So when the next opportunity presents itself, you hesitate or you simply ignore it. Learn to let go of setbacks emotionally. They don't have to define you. They don't necessarily mean that you are a screw-up and can't ever get it together. Document everything. When you keep a journal of your efforts, you're doing yourself a big favor as far as achieving ultimate success is concerned. You will figure out why things didn't pan out in a very focused way. You will get to clearly identify what you did before, during, and after the disappointment. Now that you know this information, you can choose to do things differently. You can connect the dots. You can see patterns and conduct experiments to see if you get better results. Throughout all of this, you focus on your end goal. Just how important is documentation or keeping a journal? Well, people who are looking to lose weight report better results if they only recorded what they ate. Even if they continued to eat the same kinds of foods before and in the same amounts, these test participants still enjoyed weight loss. That's right. By simply logging what you eat, you trigger a chain reaction in your mind that leads you to eating less. The same process plays out when it comes to success. The key to success despite failure. Failure is a part of life. Get used to it. Prepare for it. But the good news is that if you only built grit, you will eventually make it. According to a research study published by Professor Angela Duckworth, grit is the secret of success. 
It's not being the smartest person in the room. It's not being the most dedicated and motivated person. Instead, it's all about the ability to get knocked down, but still keep on pushing forward. Regardless of how many times you get knocked down, get rerouted, or get postponed, you still keep pushing forward until you go all the way to the end. Grit is a choice. This is the ultimate coping mechanism to setback. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by All Super Info.